That's why that happens. Is really? That, yeah. Yeah. She says most singers get that before anybody because you're always uh, using. I'm sorry, it. you can't do that stuff now, but I'm just going to put a position on you. Okay. Trouble. Bad, bad timing. Troublemaker. Okay, we're trying to roll. You're in the background. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Maria. Yeah. Close the door. Bill King. Is it? Yeah. I like that guy. <laughs> well, he's going to be interviewed as well. He's going to interview you. Who are you interviewing? I'm not interviewing anybody. Oh, we're just talking? Okay, so we're rolling here. Yeah, so you guys could just yeah, start talking. Hello, Bill. Music Hello. Hello. Look at who's here. here. That's my daughter, Bill. Jasmine. Hi, daughter. Hey, Bill. She's the merch girl today. I'm going to let these guys do a quick... Well, you know that uh, the, the, the actual journey I took to get here, even though I'd driven by this place a thousand times and had no idea it was here, was that Bill King, last March, March uh, 2023, when he became the uh, musical director here, phoned Lou Pomonti about doing some shows here with uh, Oakland Stroke or any of his bands, any of his music, and Lou phoned me and said, hey, we're going to go and look at this theater on Girard Street. And I said, fantastic. Uh, so uh, uh, we came here and we met uh, Maria and was completely blown away that this thing was here and nobody had ever heard of it. I, I actually did remember coming here the winter before because it was a farmer's market. It was the Leslie, Leslie Street farmer's market in here. So all, all this whole area was full of people selling uh, vegetables. And it didn't dawn on me then that it, was, that it had a stage. You know, I watched A Hard Day's Night the other day, and I can't help but preface this by saying, for you people out there wondering, Greg, who's that little old man sitting with you there? He's very clean. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Tim Noter, N-O-T-T-E-R. He ran the Orbit Room for 26 years? 25 years. Okay, enough of that. Yeah. Uh, now, N-O-T-T-R. Obviously, J.K. Rowling's has to change the, her character <laughs> to Harry Potter because his is P-O-T-T-E-R, pronounced I know grammatically Potter. it's it, it doesn't make any sense. But so why do you have you, to be so arbitrary? All well, the you time? have to talk to my Italian grandfather. Ah, okay, yes. Who, Nona. Who, who came to Ellis Island at, by himself at thirteen. <laughs> yeah. Just like in The Godfather Two, and his name was Denote. And somewhere along the line they put an R on it, and it still remained Noter, not Nutter. I just found out recently that my name is not actually Godovitz. I know, you told me I mean, that. yeah, we, we, we discovered these people in, uh, in Australia that uh, came to me in, on Facebook. I mean, Facebook is, I used to call it Wastebook, but it's not because you meet people that will bring you uh, artificial kangaroos if you're nice. <laughs> and uh, she says, uh, do you have a, did, was your great-grandfather, was his name uh, Joseph? And I said, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, it was. She goes, your name is not Godovitz. I said, well, I checked my license and uh, <laughs> various other things I've got. And it says, that, she says, your name is actually, I'm not telling you guys. <laughs> Godovitz has served me well for the last well, 72 years. So. Yes, absolutely. But I still think that, and uh, if you guys in uh, television land agree, we should really change his name to uh, Harry <laughs> Potter. What do you think? But certainly when I got here, um, I am, and they immediately asked me how, uh, if I could uh, find bands to play here. I had 25 years of uh, bands playing every night of the week, and I still have all their phone numbers, and they would all be thrilled for me to phone them and ask them to come and play here. So that's basically what's been happening for the last six months, is that I've started with all of the tremendous bands that I had at the Orbit Room come and play here. I would just like to interject here by saying I never played or was hired by this man at the uh, Orbit Room, not even once. Which is weird. The only time I ever went there, because I don't go west of Bathurst Street uh, <laughs> ever, because I'm a Scarberian by, by nature, uh, I went to see somebody there, paid the cover charge, thought the band was phenomenal, and had one drink because I was driving and I don't drink and drive. And uh, we became like fast friends. It's a, that's a very close to being the truth. <laughs> it's what, very, yeah, very it's close. Uh, she actually said to me, because I everywhere I went, I tell people I own a bar. 
And she said, oh, a music bar. Well, then you must know Greg Godovitz. And I said, only by reputation. <laughs> and uh, he, she said, well, he's at the other end of the bar. Yep. And, then and she, he literally said, came over, and we sat down, we started talking, and we were best friends, like, almost immediately. Yeah, that's right. He lent me his wife and everything. It was incredible. <laughs> I thought, what a, what a generous fellow this guy is. But it's true. We become great friends. I was actually going to wear the same outfit that Tim uh, Noder is wearing right now, but I didn't want us to look like the Bobsy twins. You know? Lord knows somebody like styles our, brothers. Our, our hair the same guy does our hair. <laughs> Actually, I don't know about you, but my pillow does my hair these days. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we have a lot of, uh, I mean, Greg's uh, show is here this afternoon, but um, I've set up some really interesting things between now and Christmas. And um, the, 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 the real work is to get people to come out to a place in the East End. Like, it's just so not on anybody's radar like we're on Girard Street here, Little India, and has been for decades the greatest Indian restaurants. We're always we're always here, and that's still kind of what people think about it. But um, when I uh, when I first went to College Street in uh, 1994 uh, to look at the place that was at, that had closed and was going to become the Orbit Room. I had been in the bar restaurant business for 20 years at that point, and I had never heard of College Street. I had never heard of the Cafe Diplomatico. I had never heard of any of these places. I had never been there. So when I got there and was pleased to see that there was a vibrant kind vibrant, of a yeah. thing happening yeah. in all these little restaurants, the Bar Italia and the College Street Bar and, and uh, all, these, all these places. And I thought, well, I'm, I, I'm actually part of something. Uh, that three years later was deemed the hippest corner. Cl Clinton and College became the hippest corner in Canada. Uh, you know, uh, or, or so Toronto Life told us. But the, the, the streets were packed at night with, with people, you know, going to all these. And I personally, I feel that Girard Street has much the same vibe. Yeah, except all you can get a better curry here than you can on College <laughs> well, Street. Yeah. That all the uh, all the little restaurants around here, things are changing. You know, the the rents are such probably that you know maybe you could actually make a go of it with a little cafe or something. But people are certainly trying. And there's a couple of live music things happening in the East End. Uh, you know, history, and the Duke, and Here Root. Um, there are some things happening out here, but this, the Redwood, is certainly the oh, yeah. center of oh, it. I mean, is, this could yeah. easily be the center of a whole new uh, um, uh, live music uh, uh, scene out here in the East End. Um, like, I, I live in Scarborough, and it was only 15 minutes to get here. Yeah. The, uh, I live in Pickering. It took me three hours. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys know, I know, Tim, I know Tim knows this. But Canada's sweetheart, Mary Pickford, played here. Mm. And, and the Marx Brothers played here. So yes, when I found this, that out, I went, you know. <laughs> we're doing, we're, I'm we like Harpo Marx, but I talk. We, we fit yeah. right in. Yeah, yeah although the place itself has quite a history. I mean, it's been here for more than 100 years. Yeah. And um, I, I would imagine that, you know, the, the things they've done to, to make it uh, a more interesting venue... This is only the beginning. There's still lots of other things. Do you know that they have a flying trapeze over there? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah they it's they a, teach flying trapeze in case anybody wants to break their neck. <laughs> yeah, it's a circus it's school. A place, it's a circus it's school, a, yeah. It can be a circus school beep, beep. as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got a Harpo thing for uh -huh. today. I really should have. But one thing it has that a lot of other places uh, um, kind of this size don't have, and that is a fabulous dance floor. Yeah. I mean, it's. I don't know if it's old enough to be the you know that spring loaded kind of thing. That I don't uh, think it's one of those. No, it, it is. This is it spring loaded. I think horse it, hair, right? Yeah. Is, is that, that how they, they use horse is, hair? Is that right? how they did it? Yeah. The, the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, is and it's incredible because there's like two thousand people and you can actually see it undulating. While yeah. Well, it's the same at the Palais Royal. I think they have uh, that that, would that kind sense. of sprung dance yeah. floor as well. Uh, Our parents um, would have danced there. Uh, absolutely. The Lindy Hop. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? To the Glenn Miller band. Yes, yes, doing the Lindy Hop. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, you know, well, this would be a perfect room for that kind of big band thing too. I think that you know the stage is big enough and the and the room is big enough. Well, to... Bill King's our guy for that, and yeah. of course Lou Pomonti. I mean, not taken. I, I met Lou through uh, Tim, and uh, it took me about two or three weeks to differentiate because they're not related, but they look exactly the same. Well, I don't know if exactly. I can, I can see. Okay, he's better looking. We okay. can easily be cousins. Cousins, yeah. <laughs>